Hi, this is a quick walkthrough showing you how to register and update the new NT680 series scan tools from Foxwell. The first step is to download the new Fox Assist update software. So open a web browser and head to the Foxwell UK website, that's foxwelluk.co.uk. Click on the updates link across the top of the page and then select NT680 series scan tools from the menu. This page will give you full instructions on how to install the updates and if you scroll to the bottom of the page there's a link to download the update software so click the link and download the file it'll take a few seconds to download now the file that you're downloading is a compressed zip file so when it finishes if you open the download you'll see another file inside called fox assist setup with some version numbers after it There we go, so double click that file to run it. And you can close the browser window in the background now as well. Now depending on your Windows settings, the, the Windows Smart Screen filter may block you from running the program as it doesn't recognize the app. If that happens, just click the More Info link at the top and you'll get an option to run anyway, so choose that. And Windows will then give you the user account control security prompt that you often see with programs. The video capture software you, we use can't show this, so you get a black screen here. But if you just accept that, and click yes to allow the software to make changes, and the installer should then start. Now you need to accept the license agreement and click next, and then keep clicking next until the software install finishes. At the end of the install, it will also install the Microsoft Visual C++ runtime, which it needs to run. It will probably do this in the background, but may ask you to restart the PC before you carry on. If so, you have to do this, because it won't run until it's done. When it finishes, the option should be ticked to launch the software, so click finish and Fox Assist will open up. Now you need to create a Foxwell account. The NT680 uses a new registration platform, so even if you've registered a previous Foxwell tool, you may still need to register again. If you've got an old account, try logging in, but otherwise click the register button. Now the new system checks your email as valid before allowing you to create an account. So if you fill in your email address and the password boxes, then press the send code button. This will email a four digit verification code to your email. It's important you only press that button once, as each time you press it, it creates a new code. So press it once and wait for the confirmation message. So pressing it now, it can take a few seconds for the confirmation message to appear. There. So then check your inbox and you should have an email from Foxwell containing the code. So type that verification code into the box and press the free registration button at the bottom. When you get a confirmation message, that's the hardest part done. So now it'll take you to the login screen. You can just enter the email address and the password that you chose. And it's worth ticking the stay signed in box to save you remembering it in the future. And just click sign in and then you're into your account. So now it's time to link the tool up to your PC. So if you get the USB cable and the tool out of the box, plug the USB cable into the tool and then into the PC. And once it comes on, select the update option on the menu. Once it finds it, Windows will mount the tool as a removable drive. So depending on your settings, it may pop up the contents of the drive. There we go. And the serial number appears in the top right corner of Fox Assist. So if you select the Activate button on the left hand side, it will show the serial number again. Press the Activate button in the middle. And there we go, successful activation. The tool is now registered to your account. So once it's activated, you need to close and reopen the software. So you double click the desktop shortcut and it will give you the user account control menu again, hence the black screen. And when it opens up, click login, sign in. And it will 
quickly scan the tool and then it should give you a list of the software on the tool and the ones with ticks are available to update. So press the upgrade button and it'll automatically start to download, decompress and then install those updates on the memory of the tool. Some of the larger updates can take a few minutes to install. Keep things real, we haven't sped up the process here, so you can see the kind of time it takes for the larger updates. Almost there, there we go. So once the confirmation box appears, click OK on that, and it'll drop back to the software list. And if nothing's ticked on the list, then you're up to date, so just press the enter button on the tool to come out of update mode, close the software, and you're all finished. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please have a look at our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.